Hello and welcome to this uh, podcast. I know podcasts aren't quite the same as meeting face to face, but I hope you find this a useful way of uh, my communicating to you a number of short messages I'd really like to get over. I think the first thing I want to say is I think NHS Grampian is moving forward and we're doing well. I think we're making a lot of progress on a lot of fronts um, and I just want to say thanks to all members of staff for making that happen. I think one of the main things I want to acknowledge is the real success we've had over the winter months. Winter in the health service can be a really challenging time with a combination of bad weather and viral illnesses uh, and increasing pressure on all health services, be it in primary care, in community hospitals and in Aberdeen Royal Infirmary and Dr Gray's Hospital. I think this year we've tried very hard to prepare ourselves much better for winter and we've seen much better cross-system collaborative working going on. So I think having the discharge hub, having daily safety huddles, looking at bed disposition right the way across the region, looking at things like virtual community wards, there seems to have been a lot of innovation and a lot of hard working that's given us a much better result. And I think as well the real focus that we've had on reducing a number of patients who are de delayed in their discharge from hospital settings I think has been a real improvement too. So I just want to say thanks to everyone for working together, the good collaborative working we've had and I think much better improved outcomes despite the pressures we've had over the winter months. I'm really delighted to say that we've uh, managed to uh, establish three integrated joint boards for health and social care integration within uh, Grampian and I'd like to pay tribute to all of the staff who've been involved in those discussions. I think getting those three integrated joint boards uh, together and, and really starting to work bringing together adult health and social care and primary care and community health services gives us real opportunities to bring care closer to people's homes, make care much more personalised in the future and making sure that more care is done in community and primary care settings um, and having quite a different working relationship with acute services. So I think a big thank you to our three chief officers, to all of the staff who have worked in that and very much looking forward to concentrating further on improving outcomes for people and getting people's care much closer to home. I'm also pleased to say that we've been making a lot of progress in recruiting and retaining staff within NHS Grampian. I think we've got uh, over 200 additional staff right the way across the region, additional medical staff, additional nursing staff and admin and clerical and facilities uh, and, and others. And I think that's been really good to make sure that our establishment levels are much more close to getting filled. And in particular, I think we've made fantastic progress in the recruitment of consultants to come and work here in NHS NHS Grampian. I think what we really want to do is to make NHS Grampian an attractive place to work. So if you come and work here, you'll get good support, you'll work in a strong multi-professional environment, you'll get access to teaching and training and support. And if you're interested in things like research or different clinical interests, then you'll have an opportunity to pursue those interests. Now we've still got a lot of vacancies across the system, we've got real pressures in primary care and general practice and we need to make more progress in terms of recruiting nursing and midwifery staff and we carry too many vacancies. But I'm very pleased to say that with our joint working with Robert Gordon University and the Return to Practice programme we're making some real inroads. So I would report that I think we're moving forward but we've still got a lot of work to do in recruitment and retention. And as well as investing in staff, we've been seeking to invest in buildings and, and premises and in equipment and very pleased to say that the Forester Hill site is attracting some £300 million of development over the coming years. We've secured NHS capital funding for the Baird and the Anchor Centre. We'll have the new patient uh, car park uh, going up as a result of the very generous gift uh, from the Wood Foundation and seeking also to invest in primary care and community care facilities and the new Inverurie Health Hub at over £14 million. I think that's a really fantastic development as well. So getting that overall plan for investing in our capital, in our estate and trying to provide the most up-to-date facilities we can and good facilities for patients to be treated in and good facilities to staff to work in is an essential part of our plans. Very pleased to say as well we've managed to make a number of important senior appointments. 
so uh, senior medical staff who are supporting the medical director in the running of medical services across the region and also in promoting training and education uh, and educational governance I think has been very important and pleased too to say that within the acute sector joining Malcolm Metcalf as our medical lead, Gary Mortimer has been appointed as director of acute services and Caroline Hiscox as associate nurse director leading our nursing and midwifery uh, staff there as well. So making sure that we've got strong collaborative multi-professional leadership all the way through the system again is a priority that we're really trying to take forward. So I think if NHS Grampian had a report card we'd be saying we've made a lot of good progress in the last 12 months which I think is great and we've got a lot more to do. And I think finally what I'd want to say is that I think underlying what we're trying to do to improve patient services, we've got a non number of underlying fundamental principles we want to drive forward. We want to really focus on quality improvement and the outcomes for patients being at the absolute heart of what we do. We want to make this a good environment for teaching and training and, and research and we want to promote a culture whereby staff feel valued, they feel engaged in what we're doing as an organisation and feel they can make a really good contribution to uh, what we're doing. And I think very importantly too, we want to create an environment where we will work in partnership with our staff side, we will work in partnership with external important bodies such as local authorities and, and the University of Aberdeen and Robert Gordon's uh, University and a range of external uh, partners and that we will engage constructively with our professional advisory structures. And we've already seen a number of uh, examples of where professional advisory structures have given us really valuable advice that we've been able to utilise and I think we're trying to engage everyone as we move forward with the NHS Grampian-wide clinical strategy. So I hope you found this podcast uh, helpful. Um, I certainly find it a helpful way of just communicating a few messages from NHS Grampian and thank you very much indeed for uh, watching.